What's up, YouTube? I'm here to give you a review on the hydraulic. What it is? It's X Tech X Tech brakes and the troubles that I've had with them. Now I say that not to say that they're bad brakes. They they've been working fine. They've been working fine. But my cables because they're however they're turned or whatever have uh not been letting the brakes return like they should in other words when you squeeze the brake because i guess the hydraulic part is not as springy as a um mechanical when you squeeze the brake it didn't want to return back so what I did, I went to the store, a little hardware store, uh, Lowe's, any one of them should have it, and got a spring, just a spring. I mean, you don't have to get that much of a tension of a spring because you can take your hand and just push it back real slightly and it, it goes back. But that little spring right there keeps that from staying compressed. And so then you know with a hydraulic cylinder, it has to suck back. To get suction on the fluid to push to, to operate the brakes the next time if it stays forward and then you go to pull it you're not going to get any kind of braking so when it goes back it re-energizes and then you push it so yeah just went and got that i got one for that and one for the back one also because it was doing worse than the front but now i've been on a 12 mile ride and I noticed that now my brakes are stiffer and that's because the spring is pushing the piston back so if you purchase the X-Tech X-Tech brakes for your bike or scooter you might want to invest in getting some of those springs and put in there they should have them come with the kit because Nine times out of ten, somebody's going to have some cables that's either binding a little bit somewhere or something that's going to cause it to not collapse or not to reopen all the way. And so, therefore, they're going to feel like you're losing brakes. Then they're going to turn around and tighten up on the, on the barrel to try to get more braking power. And really, it's not really the fact that you're losing braking power because it's not collapsing down far enough. It's the fact that it's not opening back up to let that piston draw in that fluid and then push it back out for a good break that's just my my idea on it i mean i'm pretty sure that's about spot on what's going on with it but i rode today and i didn't have any problem no sponginess in the brakes or nothing they locked up real good so before that i was feeling like they were spongy i had to release them and stuff and I was looking at them and I saw, I said, well, it's not releasing. Of course, it's not going back and recanning the fluid. So just something to be aware of if you purchase the brakes. Other than that, the brakes have been great. Uh, they're still not one finger operation like I think hydraulic ones would be. I probably would eventually get a set of hydraulics to see, you know, full hydraulics. I say hydraulic, but these are hydraulics. They're just mechanical, but they have a hydraulic fluid in them. So I would probably get some of those and see if they have that one finger pull. And to be honest with you, I'm so used to pulling with two fingers now, I probably wouldn't feel right using one finger anyway. But we'll see. Probably an upgrade later on down the road if these ever give out. All right. That's my video for today. Hope that helps someone. Later.